Oh, yeah. So well rested right now. Uh, just, you know, all it takes is a little cat nap sometimes. Well, you just heard Miles talk about the rain. It actually started pouring about 20 minutes ago, so it moved us into the museum off from the ship. We still were able to get some video you'll see here in just a second of all the light displays. But this is a great example of kind of how much bigger Winterfest is this year. A lot of the festivities have kind of spread into the main part of the museum. So we're under what's called the magic journey, a magic journey here. We've got Ren West with us and and Ren, yeah, let's talk about it. You guys have made this year's Winterfest the third year bigger and better than the previous two. Yeah, and I think that's what makes Winterfest so unique is that we have these amazing lights, but we also have these very unique experiences. And we have repeat customers that are saying, is the train display coming back? And boy, it did. Okay. so. You're gonna lead the way? Yeah, are you ready? Is it through here? Okay. We're, we're going through the magic on, journey. Let's go. So our team has worked very hard to put together an amazing display that I know visitors are going to love. Wow. And this is so cool. It kind of reminds me of the North Pole in the Santa Claus movie with Tim Allen. Just like everything. Yes. Elves everywhere. And uh, this was put together by Stephen Kirkland, the director of Nauticus. Yes, our director, um, this is his labor of love, but also it, it took many team members from Nauticus and um, it follows a story um, and we encourage all visitors to, to come through here and experience this themselves because I feel like you've really got to yeah. see it and see how intricate and all of the details um, and for all the train lovers. Yeah, and this is in addition to how many lights on the ship this year? We have over one million throughout the ship and in our new mistletoe marina. Oh my gosh, and, and how excited are you guys to be able to see the battleship lit up that way again? I mean, it's become so iconic these last few years. Yeah, um, we look forward to this every year. So this is something that, you know, we start in September um, with our, our lighting firm and our team and, and we're excited it's here and, and we're excited to open on Military Appreciation Weekend. Yeah, and, and I know we're, we're, we're pretty much out of time. So before we go, I do want to mention that to folks. So this entire weekend is, is Military Appreciation Weekend, obviously today, Veterans Day, but a whole weekend through, veterans, military members, and their families get $5 off their tickets uh, to come out and see the Battleship Wisconsin. There's a limit to how many tickets they have, but a good thing to maybe to come check out this weekend. Once the rain moves through, come out here, celebrate the return of Winterfest, and of course, celebrate those who have fought for our country. We're going to have more information on our website, WTKR.com, and we're also going to check back in when you make the switch to WGNT a little bit later with some more stuff that's happening here at Winterfest on the Wisconsin. For now that we're live in Norfolk, I almost said Virginia Beach. We're in Norfolk. Send it back to you guys.